Hey there guys and thanks for joining me today on a new episode on the Oculus Rift. Today we are taking a look at War Thunder. This game is very cool with the Oculus Rift. I've been flying around with it already for a little bit and I am impressed with how cool these cockpits really look when you're um, actually sitting inside of them. They feel a lot different than uh, when you're normally playing the game. Um, they're a lot more cramped, I can tell you that. Now, the Oculus Rift works pretty well with War Thunder. It's not perfect yet. Um, there's um, like, a bound, like a bounding box, I would say. It's uh, made so that you can't stick your head out of the cockpit, which is good. But it does it down as well, which means that you can't move your head down. You can move it up. That works fine. But when you go down, you hit like a ceiling, which is pretty uncomfortable. Because it can leave you a little bit disorientated. So that can be a bit difficult when you're trying to lean into the, uh, the gauges, which doesn't always work very well. Anyway, to talk about some really good things, let me just center up the camera here for a sec. To talk about some good things about this is that it looks extremely realistic and um, you really feel like you're sitting in a very big plane. You know, looking to the sides, the wings are huge. You can obviously do the, uh, the ailerons and uh, yeah, they have a very, very uh, realistic size. I'm looking down the engine here and um, the propeller and it, it, it all looks just extremely realistic. Obviously you can look all the way behind you as you would in a fighter plane like this when you're engaging someone. Uh, the crosshair in the middle there is a little bit wonky. Um, uh, for you it'll, it'll, it'll look alright, just a little bit oddly shaped. But for me, I'm seeing two of them. It's hard to um, to fixate on them, and I think that's because of you know the two eye points not lining up properly. Anyway, let's go and take this thing for a spin. Which is, I'll I'll, I'll say that I've never had a more realistic uh, flying experience than I had in in War Thunder because you can tell exactly where you are when you're flying, like how far away are you from the from the ground. Uh, landing is made super easy, and um, yeah, all in all, making a turn. You know exactly where you're going. You can pull into it, and it, it works really, really well. So let's go and um, start up the engine, and we'll take this thing out for a spin. Now again, because we're inside of the cockpit, I know exactly where I am, and it's it feels like you're sitting in a real plane, which is incredible. I need to reset the camera, which again is done in a bit of an awkward fashion because you, your head doesn't go down as far as it should. All right, let's go and take off. You get a real good sense of speed with this as well. I mean, you look down to the side, you look at the ground, and you really feel like you're going very fast. Alright, we're flying. So, gear up. And you really feel like you're going up into the air. It's, it's extremely. I don't think you'll get a closer experience of feeling like you're actually flying, like your brain is really moving over to the side. I'm seeing the air. It can leave you a little bit nauseous when you go too fast like this. I would almost put it into the stove then. Alright, wheels down, flaps down. The cool thing is when you're landing, you can actually just raise your head a little bit if you need to see down your nose a little bit further. Something that you couldn't do if you're actually flying uh, with just a screen. Exactly when you're touching the ground, you, you know when to flare, which is pretty cool as well. There we go. Yeah. 
So here we are in the Focke Wolf, and um, right away, because you have such a good sense of scale in the game, you know exactly how big things are and where they are uh, relative to your uh, to your to your face and your body. Um, the whole cockpit is different. Like um, the front bars, you really feel like you could just reach out to them and grab them. They're right in front of you. Uh, now, of course, because yeah, the War Thunder is still a little bit wonky with moving down. I can't move my head down which means I can't really look into the cockpit the way I would want to. Like, the camera gets stuck on, on my own body, which is slightly strange. Um, again, this, this cockpit is so much smaller smaller than I, I thought it, it, yeah, initially thought it would be. Like, my head is right about to touch the, um, the bar here. Um, you can look down a lot better. Uh, you can look back a lot better. Obviously, you've got more visibility, which means so much more now that you actually have to turn around. You have to lean around. Or do it the other way, whichever way you prefer. Um, the wings are a lot bigger than on the Spitfire. At least they feel bigger. Um, and the engine to the front is huge. Uh, I feel a lot higher up as well. So, um, yeah, let's take it for a spin. How quick the fuck off stalls if you don't know what you're doing. Alright guys, so the next bit is a little bit of combat. Um, this is me flying the Spitfire versus BF-109, AI controlled. Um, and so here's the thing, it's incredibly cool. You really feel like the other planes are flying right in front of you and you're about to shoot them and like you can you can 
kind of guess how far away they are from you and it's nice to intercept them as you'll see in the, in the video in a little bit. Uh, however, I do have to say it's way too blurry to even distinguish um, a Spitfire from a BF-109. You just cannot tell what it is unless you get really close and you get the yellow pixels from the, uh, the BF-109's nose. So the only way to go after it is by looking at the tracer fire and, and checking the color and then you'll know what it is. It's way too blurry at this point to make it a viable solution for uh, online uh, combat, I would say because you just cannot spot anything further than uh, 150 meters away from you. Anyway, just enjoy this for a little bit and uh, yeah, make up your own uh, opinion on it. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Be sure to check out my uh, Elite Dangerous Oculus Rift video if you haven't seen that yet. I'll make sure there's a button here for you to click in case you're interested. And uh, do stay tuned for the next one. I've got some other games lined up that I want to try and uh, I'm sure that you'll, uh, you'll enjoy them too. In case you have any questions about the Oculus or anything like that, do let me know and uh, I'll be happy to answer them either in the comments or in my uh, later videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.